Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park West, our fall turf festival. It is a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. We're going to look at those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, turf course firm, a first race, six furlongs, Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Note number seven, KB Biorhythms will race with blinkers on. And they're up. From the outside, KB Biorhythms begins the best and goes looking for the lead. Here's Casalinga moving between horses and down to the inside. Flashy Brass is showing speed. Distinctly Sweet and Harbor the Dream come away on the top flight. They're scrambling for position and the lead in the run down the backstretch. Centella is second last but only a length and three quarters behind. And it's a stretch of five to stretch running Joaquina. Down the back stretch they go and pass the half mile pole. With the lead, it's Casalinga by a neck. Up on the outside, Distinctly Sweet is now second by the opening quarter in 22 and 3. On the far outside, KB Biorhythms with flashy brass to the inside. Centella's working off the fence for Boca Chica and Harbor the Dream between horses. And Joaquina closer now with only five and a half lengths to raise and five sixteenths to go. Distinctly Sweet's a neck in front. Casalinga second. KB Biorhythms is third. Centella swings wide for the drive. The favorite, Flashy Brass, has traffic to negotiate. This is wide open. Who do you like from here with three sixteens to go? Distinctly Sweet trying to re-break on the top end for Ever Argetta. Leads it a length and a quarter. KB Biorhythms is second. Centella on the outside. Now third. In between them, it's Harbor the Dream. Eighth of a mile to go. Distinctly Sweet finding plenty up top. Leads it a length and a half. Second, KB Biorhythms, but the first of the day to Distinctly Sweet. And Ever Argetta by almost two. Second, KB Biorhythms from Centella third. It's a photo for fourth in 112 and four. Number six, Distinctly Sweet, wins the opener for owner Steve Prather, trained by Doug Potter and ridden to victory today by apprentice Ever Argueta. Second race is one mile on the turf. These are starter optional claimers, Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and upward. Scratch the four, nice to regal. Also scratch the main track only is number nine and number ten. Don't call me Charlie. And they're up. Toward the inside, Spectacular Me begins nicely. Vital Victory moves to challenge. An anchor woman between horses showing speed. Anchor woman and on the inside, the Spectacular Me vie for early control. Vital Victory backs off. Moving up on the outside, here's Flash Song. Tugging harder to Jose Garcia and joins the party three wide. A length and a half in advance of Phoenix Court. Then it's the gray back for dinner. And it's two lengths to the trailer. The favorite, Maydell. Last of all and six and a half off the lead. They run around the first turn and Flash Song tugs her way to the lead and leads it a length and a quarter from Spectacular Me, who's racing second. Anchor Woman is now third in front of a rating Vital Victory, who's fourth. Back for dinner on the outside is fifth, while four wide toward the inside, that's Phoenix Court, and two lengths to Maydell. They went through the opening quarter in 23 and 3. With the lead, it's Flash Song out in the center by a neck. Right back at her toward the inside. Here's Spectacular Me and Vital Victory third, but moving closer. Anchor Woman is now fourth toward the inside. Phoenix Court has to quicken to keep her spot. A neck better than back for dinner. And Maydell confidently handled last of all after a 48 and 3 half mile. Phoenix Court had to check around the far turn, and the top two begin to speed away. On the inside, Spectacular Me. On the outside, Vital Victory. The pace has increased noticeably, and they have opened up five on anybody else. Toward the inside, Maydell now rallies from last with every opportunity, and they're at the top of the stretch. With the lead, it's still spectacular me, tenacious up top. Vital victory, takes another run at the leader second, and Maydell is third and still closing. Inside the final furlong, spectacular me's almost home. Up the inside, Maydell is second and running out of time. Spectacular me, Maydell lead on the scene. Spectacular me's hanging on. Maydell ran second from Vital Victory third and Phoenix Court fourth in 136 and four. Number two, Spectacular Me uses its speed to score for JMS Investments, LLC. Trained by Tom Schell and ridden to victory today by John Delgado. We'll take a short break and be back for the third in just a couple of moments. Take the lead. Point of entry has defeated Animal Kingdom by a length and a half. Real Solution continues to attack on the outside. A wild finish coming here, and point of entry. Oh, the classy point of entry would not be denied. Point of entry, a five-time grade one winner by Sire of Sires Dynaformer. New for 2014 at Adina Springs. Watch world-class horse racing while dining on scrumptious world-class cuisine. 
Gulfstream Park features one of South Florida's most popular culinary destinations in Ten Palms. Located on the second floor of the clubhouse, Ten Palms features creative American dishes and daily specials overlooking beautiful Gulfstream Park. Enjoy delicious seafood and the finest in organic beef, whimsical desserts, and daily food and drink specials, all while taking in a breathtaking view of world-class racing. For a delicious afternoon of mouth-watering culinary delights, come to Gulfstream Park. Welcome back. Our third race, five and a half furlongs. These are Phillies and Mayors. Three-year-olds and upward have not won a race since April 29th. Scratch number seven, Republican. And they're up. From the outside, Blancat wins the break and goes looking for the early lead from Pompous Miss, who's out sprinted while second. Miss Prim is away in early third. Front cover Dream is next, followed by Etiqueta. And the gray is out the back door. Irish Platinum last of the six as they race down the back stretch. Past the half mile pole with Blancat working over from the high draw, leads at a length and a half. Racing second is on the inside to Pompous Miss. Three wide out there is Miss Prim. Irish Platinum has moved up a spot around front cover Dream. And Etiqueta is now last with three furlongs left to go. Blonde Cat does it nicely for the Bug Boy. Tyler Gaffleone takes him along here a length and a quarter. Working harder while second is Panici aboard Pompous Miss. Two lengths in front of an outside running Miss Prim. The gray Irish Platinum begins to find her best ride with a quarter of a mile left to go. They're at the top of the stretch and Blonde Cat cuts the corner and opens up a three-length lead. Irish Platinum coming up the inside lane with an eighth of a mile to go. Front cover Dream and Miss Prim are next. It's still Blonde Cat. The danger is Irish Platinum. She's coming up the inside lane. Final 16th. Blonde Cat's holding firm. Irish Irish Platinum is only second best to Blonde Cat and Tyler Gaffleone to take him start to finish and win it by a length and a half. Second was Irish Platinum front cover Dream third and Miss Prim fourth. Number six, Blonde Cat uses his speed, improves much the bets. The score for Dan Hurtak in our head stable, trained by Donna Green and ridden to victory today by apprentice Tyler Gaffleone. Fourth race, one mile on the firm turf course. These are maiden claimers, two-year-olds. The claiming price, $25,000. Scratch the five, super. And they're off. Toward the inside, that's Jazz Banjo, who begins the best. Fire Blue is toward the hedge, and Grateful Attitude moves up the challenge. From the favorite Wildcat runner, who will duck off the speed to race fourth under Juan Leva, ahead better than first-timer Renombre. Second last early is Roy Ayer, and out the back, the trailer is I Believe in God. The race into the first turn, and with inside position and the lead, it's Fire Blue. Drifting a bit wide off the corner, but in front by a neck, Jazz Banjo is there second. Eddie Martin reigns Grateful Attitude back to run in third, two and a half behind. Two and a half in front of Renombre. Then to the outside, it's Wildcat Runner. The favorite is racing fifth, and about five lengths from it. Two lengths better than Roy Ayer, and it's far back early. The trailer, I believe, in God. They bend into the backstretch after the opening quarter went in 24 and 1. With the lead, it's Fire Blue by a neck. Jazz Banjo is second. Grateful Attitude secured inside position. Still on hold for Eddie Martin, a neck better than Renombre, who's tipped to the outside for Prado. Roy Ayer has got closer under Garcia, moving up on the inside of Wildcat Runner, who has unimpeded racing room on the outside. And still far, far back, the trailer, I believe in God. Less than half a mile to go. They went through the opening half, mile in 49 and 4. And Fire Blue, well rationed by Edgar Zayas, continues to lead it. Jazz Banjo turning up the pressure second. Grateful Attitude, not without hope third. Roy Air saves ground from Wildcat Runner, and they're at the top of the stretch. Fire Blue has the lead. The rail just opened for Grateful Attitude. He's 23 to 1 with a chance under Eddie Martin. A length and a half in front of Jazz Banjo third. Back fourth, Roy Air. Final furlong, Fire Blue digging in game. And starts to rebreak. Jazz Banjo is just up and down second. Wildcat runner on the outside, but it's Fire Blue right back for the new connections on top by two and a half. Close second, give it to Wildcat runner over Jazz Banjo, then Roy Air at 139. And one. Number one, Fire Blue scores for Bella Inzio Farm LLC, trained by Jenna Antonucci, ridden very nicely by jockey Edgar Zayas. The fifth race, seven furlongs, three-year-olds and up, which have not won a race since April 29th. Scratch the number five, Kinvara. And they're up. 
From the inside, the favorite Sir Edgar wins the break with Why Not Grey Boy injecting pace into the race early. These two, they go fairly quickly. They've opened up a three-length margin on Veritech, who comes away down inside and races third. Giacomo the Great is next to the outside Cactus Kid with Smoking the Field second last, and the early trailer is El Cobre as they run out of the seven furlong shoot. Sir Edgar has the lead. He's in front three parts of a length, moving up on the outside and now coming on to be second, Giacomo the Great, after the opening quarter went in 22 and 3. Why Not Grey Boy is between horses third with Veritech toward the inside. Then it's a stretch of two lengths to Cactus Kid. He's five behind. Smoking the field is next and trailing the field is El Cobre. There's about seven lengths from first to last and there's less than half a mile to go. They went through the opening quarter in 22 and three and there's now three furlongs left to go. The half mile and 46 seconds flat. Sir Edgar has the lead. Christian Jamingas working on Giacomo the Great to stay second with Why Not Grey Boy. He receives a ground saving trip. He's not without hope. He's third behind the speed. Two lengths in front of Smoking the Field who kicks into gear. Cactus Kid has had to cover ground, and they're at the top of the stretch. Sir Edgar has the lead, looking for room. Here's Smoking the Field up the inside lane. Smoking the Field has room if he's good enough to catch Sir Edgar with an eighth of a mile to go. Sir Edgar's in front. Smoking the Field continues to chip away. Sir Edgar, veteran, almost home. Here's Smoking the Field starting to get to him now. Smoking the Field coming up the inside for Ramsey Zimmerman. Sir Edgar battles right back. These two, too close to call. Very, very close. Sir Edgar is game as they come, smoking the field, surging up the inside. They came to the wire, heads apart in 126 and 1. There's the photo with dead heat between number three, Sir Edgar, owned by Bremen Red and Alaris Racing, trained by Gilberto Zerpa, ridden to victory by Edgar Zayas, and number seven, smoking the field, owned by Don and Merrill Work, trained by Ralph Sadie, and ridden to victory today by Ramsey Zimmerman. We'll be right back for the sixth. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Basilou Stables has assembled top-notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Basilou Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park. Welcome back for our sixth race. Five furlongs on the turf. These are fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, which have not won two races or straight to three-year-olds of nine runners going to the post with no scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're off. From the outside, the favorite Rogue Lady begins nicely. Here's Hot Cotton rushing in the center. Hot Cotton takes the lead. On the outside, Rogue Lady comes away in second with Java Mine now third. Ginebra is fourth. Up on the outside, Blonde Diva fifth. Megan's Holiday between them. Stretch of another five lengths back to the inside, trying to improve Think of You. On the outside, Miss Kit Mambo and Jalice is last. They move into the far turn with less than half a mile to go, and Hot Cotton outfoots the field, leads at three parts of a length. Here's Rogue Lady and Zayas moving closer second. But toward the inside, Ginebra now saves ground, getting inside of Java Mine a joint third. Blonde Diva next. Then on the inside, coming on is Ginebra, and they're at the top of the stretch. Rogue Lady on the outside. Hot Cotton toward the inside. Their heads apart. Three in front of Megan's Holiday. Then Ginebra. Final furlong. Hot Cotton drifting out. Rogue Lady trying to press past but not getting by yet. It's Rogue Lady on the outside trying to get by Hot Cotton who's holding firm. Hot Cotton still there. Rogue Lady on the outside is only second best to Hot Cotton who wins it a half a length. Rogue Lady second in front of G Ginebra third and think of you fourth. Number four, Hot Cotton uses its speed to win and pays $31.40. Owned by BLC Stable, trained by Bernardo Lopez and ridden to victory today by Santiago Gonzalez.